Hey everyone, in this video, we're going to be reviewing the Netcoins platform for Canadians and where the best places to buy crypto in Canada are based on testing 18 platforms and looking for all their fees, all their spreads, all their features and all that good stuff. So we're going to compare Netcoins to the competition and just do a really deep look. So let's start with the security, scroll down to the bottom. And one of the main things with Netcoins is they are owned by a publicly traded company. So if we look at this last column here, it's owned by big digital assets and there's not many crypto exchanges that are owned by publicly traded companies. This is one of four platforms on this list. If we go back here, CoinSmart is the only other one, Coinbase, and then BitBuy, which is owned by WonderFi, are publicly traded. So that adds a lot of legitimacy for sure. And you can feel safe using the platform. Although most of these are FinTrack regulated and follow Canada's regulations and stuff, you could feel safe using most of them. But obviously being publicly traded just adds a lot more legitimacy. Netcoins was founded in 2014. There's no info online whether they use cold storage or not. It is a common practice, so I assume they do, but there was no info. They are FinTrack regulated as well. They do not have an insurance policy stated online and they've never had any hacks or incidents since being founded. And then these are the security features you would be able to find in your account, which is just about everything, 2FA, address whitelisting, view login history, etc. Then if we just look at the overview, scroll up to the top, looking up here, they're based in Vancouver, Canada. They have approximately five to 10 features on the platform. They only have 11 coins and they do offer e-transfer, cashing out Canadian, and it's definitely catered to beginners. They do not offer any advanced trading. So that's basically the overview and the security for netcoins again it's definitely meant for beginners very simple to use this is the website and they only have a few tabs here where you can fund buy sell withdraw and use netcoins pay which i'll get to in a minute so next let's look at the fees which i think is the most important part when choosing a canadian crypto exchange after security so if we filter by fees you can see this is the total purchase fee after adding the deposit fee trading fee and reference price difference and essentially i opened all these platforms at the same time collected all of the buy and sell prices at the same time and then this number gives you how much you're actually paying after all the fees hidden fees spreads etc so endax was the cheapest the day i tested this these numbers will change daily but it's more as a tool to compare these side by side see where it's expensive endax was the cheapest for canadians and if we go netcoins was right here at sixth place out of 18 for buying bitcoin on this day so there are five platforms that were cheaper and i'd say like three of them are significantly cheaper which or at least double, which are Newton, Virgo, CX, and Endax. For the selling fee, Netcoins placed eighth place out of 18. So that was right here, 1.42%. Now this includes selling Bitcoin for Canadian and then cashing out the Canadian to your bank account. So they have no withdrawal fees. They have no deposit fees. And that's how we got these fees. Also adding the reference price differences here. For the spread, Netcoins was right here at 1.67%. That was 11th place. And their trading fee was 0.5%, which is definitely on the higher end. This is third last right here. Only Bittrex and Wealth Simple Trade had higher fees for the trading fee. So actually, if Netcoins removed this trading fee, it would be a lot more competitive. You would do 1.24% minus 0.5. That would kind of be fourth place. So, you know, if they remove that, it would be a lot cheaper. But that's it for fees. There are just cheaper platforms overall. And the other reason that I think there are better platforms is if we look at the features. Now, Netcoins ha was sixth place for buying Bitcoin as cheaply as possible. But also, they only have five to ten features and only 11 coins. So 11 coins if we filter from top to bottom it's definitely near the bottom of the list if you want a platform that's in canada like you have newton which has 60 coins versus 11 on netcoins so and newton had lower fees as well netcoins does have a mobile app they have a beginner friendly trading platform we're looking at this row here they do not have staking there's no lending borrowing they do offer rewards so they have a bitcoin credit card where you can earn cash back in bitcoin which i'll cover in a second they do not have margin futures a native token there's no otc desk that i found but they do have an affiliate program and that's basically their features and then we can go to deposit and withdrawals so if we go to fund my account you can add canadian or us dollars so if you do have us dollars that is an option that many platforms don't offer in canada and then you have interact e-transfer or wire transfer with no fees minimum ten dollars and it shows up basically instantly the wire transfer is also fee with a minimum five hundred dollars that shows up in zero to three business days depositing crypto is free and then if we're looking at withdrawing you can withdraw canadian or us dollars but withdrawals happen via e-transfer and they just send you an email and it's very easy to do so as far as a fiat on-ramp for a canadian or us dollars netcoins is a good option now one thing i do want to cover is the netcoins pay this recently rolled out i think like a few weeks ago and you can earn up to three percent back in bitcoin with every purchase on the netcoins card now this is similar to ShakePay's card it's a prepaid visa so it does not affect your credit score kind of works more like a debit card you have to load it up and then every time you make a purchase you get up to three percent back no annual fees easy funding monthly rewards 
physical or virtual card. Now, I believe the 3% is just a promo and it's actually going to be 1% after, you know, the 3% promo ends. So that kind of sucks. However, if you want to earn Bitcoin back instead of rewards points, that's a very good option because obviously Bitcoin can be an appreciating asset rather than earning just like rewards points on your credit card, right? But Netcoins Pay is definitely really cool. That is a unique reason to use Netcoins. So overall, the summary is I think there are better platforms than Netcoins in Canada. However, it's not a bad platform to use if you want something that's owned by a publicly traded company to give you that security. They do have the Netcoins card, which could be another use case to use Netcoins. But if you just want to buy cryptocurrencies as cheaply as possible, then I recommend Newton or Endax as the best option for Canadians because they offer more coins at lower prices overall. And they have the same free deposit and withdrawals with e-transfer and stuff like that. And they also have very cheap crypto withdrawal fees, especially Newton, which gives you $5 off. So these are my top two recommendations, Newton and Endax after reviewing all of these platforms. And then if you want hundreds of more cryptocurrencies, sign up for Binance or KuCoin. Now these platforms are expensive if you try to buy with Canadian dollars. However, if you just buy like, let's say XLM on Newton and transfer it to KuCoin, then you get the lowest spreads in the industry and it's very inexpensive. And that's a good combo if you want hundreds of crypto currencies and a good fiat on-ramp off-ramp. If you want to sign up for Netcoins, I'll put a link in the description and you'll get $10 free when you trade $100 on the platform. I'll also link everything else in the description below with bonuses and other helpful crypto resources. So that's my review of Netcoins. If you have any questions about crypto or videos you want to see, please leave it in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.